Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax, the channel that's here to help you figure out how to build your dream garage. And right now, in my dream garage, I'm building four of my dream projects. So, let's jump into it. So there's been a ton of new viewers and subscribers to the channel lately and today I want to do a project update and a channel update to let you know what I'm working on and where we stand on all the projects. So since 2020 has been a weird year for all of us, um, my wife and I decided this is the opportune time while the kids are young and school is like virtual and closed uh, that we will hit the road and see America. We're going to do the whole social distancing thing but in our own uh, weird, cool way. So, that being said, I have a couple projects to make all of this happen. So firstly, I am gonna start off with my 2005 TW200. I recently just finished a video build series on this about, uh, I think seven videos about upgrading this bike uh, from replacing the shocks, the springs, uh, the handlebars, putting some extra luggage storage on there, uh, oil change and all that some fun stuff. Uh, the reason for the TW200 is because this is actually going to be my recovery bike for if and when I get myself into trouble and get stuck. So next up on the list right behind me is my wife's 2020 Ford Expedition FX4 package. I've put a couple videos out about this as already. I have put uh, a three inch lift on it. I've put some bigger tires on it. And I've put, uh, I believe it's one of the only Ford Expeditions with a winch on, but I found a bracket here that made it work. I've put a uh, worn 12K uh, platinum, Xeon Platinum winch on here uh, to get us out of uh, anything we get stuck in. And obviously that has a bunch of lights on there. I've also upgraded the lights, but I'm not quite done yet, but I want to move on to the next project because I think the next project will help me finish this project. Now the next project is my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. This happens to be the launch edition and I just got the new ARE cap on the back. So this I have a bunch of different projects. I haven't started them yet. The ARE was the first star, but basically let's go over the list here. So I've got the Baja Designs uh, ditch lights coming. Uh, I've got amber fog lights. I got a amber light bar coming. Then I've also got a worn Xeon 12K winch for this baby. I've got uh, integrated uh, reverse floodlights that are gonna be going in there. I'm gonna mount a hijack inside the bed. I've got airbags for the back. Then I'm gonna need to put a dash camera on. Uh, I'm gonna modify the toolbox on this ARE cap with, I think, some OmniWall products. And if you guys know anything about my channel, I love OmniWall products for my garage, so I think they will work perfectly in the back of the camp or in the back of the cab here in the toolbox. Then I need to get a roof rack. Now I'm thinking about the, the Rhino roof rack or the Yucca, Yakima lock and load system. Uh, that way I can outfit it here and move it back and forth to my wife's car depending which car we're using for the trip and since black friday is around the corner i'm actually waiting to make that purchase so i can save some pennies another thing i need to do with my wife's car is put a gun safe in there and then also a dash camera in there oh i also have a taser for the jeep gladiator so yes i'm all over the place but that's how many projects i have going on now the biggest project which is taking a lot of time and I've actually filmed a bunch of it I just haven't launched any of the videos because I want to launch them um, when I actually have it all done and right behind me here is my 2021 Winnebago 2306 now this is probably the craziest thing I'm turning this into an off-road off the grid camper that's why i have my wife's expedition it has the max tow package of 9300 pounds this baby's dry weight is 4000 pounds with the gross vehicle weight rating of 7000 so i've done a bunch of work to this there's a bunch more to go but let me jump into what i'm actually doing to it all right so here is my list firstly i'm installing a solar system a battery system there's 36 gallons of fresh water on here that's not enough so i am increasing that to 144 gallons 
Um, I'm doing a frame mounted hitch and this is where my TW gets mounted. So my TW will be mounted on the back here in case I get stuck with my wife's expedition and the trailer in the mud uh, and my winches can't pull us out, then I can actually take the TW and go find help. Cause I'm planning on doing off the grid off-road camping where there will be zero cell phone service, uh, zero um, help around. And I'm doing this all in the winter, snow, everything. So yes, crazy, but we're doing it. Let's get back to the list. I need gas cans. Uh, I need recovery tracks, uh, water filtration, uh, heated water tanks and holding tanks. So I need to put those on. I've got a cell phone booster for it. I need to convert the generator. I got a little 2000 watt generator. I need to convert it to propane because that will just make my life easier because it sits right there on the front. I'm running out of breath talking about all of this, but then the conventional dump system where it's just a gravity fed dump system, I'm actually getting rid of that and I'm putting a macerator system that both the gray tank and the black tank run out to. I've got floodlights all around on all the perimeters. I've got security camera system. Um, I'm trying to get uh, a company to help me out with the ex uh, suspension, uh, figure out which suspension I need to make this a true independent rear suspension. That might be a next year project to see how this suspension works. I've got new tires coming for this. I've got two spare tires I'm mounting on the back because you don't know what's gonna happen. And then as well as I've got a worn 10,000 pound winch that I'm mounting on the back. You know, some of these trails are single car trails, but if I get stuck in a car pull out front and I can't uh, then I can have the option to pull it out in the rear as well as that I've got some crazy hitches that uh, are new to the market that should make this much easier to off-road and many other bips and bobs so guys as you can see there's a ton of stuff coming I've done about 50% of the things I've mentioned on this camp already and I will go over it when they're done but next up for filming purposes, I will be going over the Jeep Gladiator with you guys, uh, the winch mounts, because those are straightforward. Everything here is customized. I'm customizing absolutely everything here. There's no manuals, there's no how-tos on this, and that's what's taking much longer. But anyways, guys, I want to thank you guys for your support. Um, remember, if you leave a comment, like, and subscribe, you are automatically entered to win a $100 Amazon gift card. But guys, if you have any questions about how crazy or what I'm doing or comments, let me know and uh, I'll be sure to get back to you. But until next time, thanks a lot and I'll see you then.